There you go. All right, this down here is a culvert set. We get a good uh, travel area here for raccoons. Um, so what I did is I went ahead and put an earth anchor in down over here. I've already hammered that in. I'm just going to put my set right here, right at the exit, or uh, exit or entrance, and then go ahead and put some uh, leaves over the top. I'm not really going to worry about uh, using the coffee filter or anything on this one. This will be a very simple one to use. So whatever comes through here, it's going to come right through the area. When I take a look at the tracks that are coming through here, it's right here, right in the middle. So I'm going to put my trap right now, there. Now, see you don't want to use a leg, a, uh, a foothold trap. If you wanted to go ahead and use something different, you can go ahead, unclip it here, and say I want to go ahead and put a snare set in here. So I'll go ahead and take this off for now. I'll go ahead and put my trap up here, just to show you the difference. It's so very simple. Go ahead and get my loop while I'm over here too. Go ahead and pull my loop through. So this plastic tube that you have on your snares, don't ever cut these off and I'll show you why. They're a very, very useful resource for us. So right here, I don't know if you can see it, but I've, I've gone ahead and put my earth anchor in and this is already sticking out a little bit. So I can go ahead and change this periodically uh, for however I want. And All right, that's a little long, but not too bad. I can go ahead and just stick that in the, the ground. Then I'm gonna bend this just a hair to where it looks like that, okay? Well, easier said than done, I guess, huh? Now, what I'm using here is just your typical trapper wire. And uh, this is uh, 11 gauge wire. Very easy to use for this. Very stable. All right, so over here, my target animal is going to be more than likely a raccoon. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I got my loop. And now I've got my tube right here to stabilize it. There we go. We can go ahead and leave this right here. So if we have a raccoon coming through, of course you want to go ahead and take some of these leaves, go ahead and throw it over the top over here. Maybe a little further down. So this is what your loop will look like in a culvert set uh, using a cable device uh, for a raccoon. Uh, if you're going to use it for a fox, um, they recommend six to eight inches wide as far as right through here, the diameter of the loop. And then they also recommend about six to eight inches off the ground. Um, I'd go with about six. Six would probably be your magic number. Now one thing you want to keep in mind about the loop is you want it to be more of an oval shape. You don't want to have it a full circle. Uh, have it almost like a, uh, like a kidney shape. Okay, Kidney shape would be the better way to go. So, when something comes through, and it runs, it's going to get tangled up, just like this. So, easy enough. 